Hello. Today I'm going to describe for you an experiment that is in an, in an article called Blame It on the Brain, written by Jonah Lair. <clears throat> if you're interested in reading this article, I'll include a link to this article in the description underneath the video. Okay. This um, experiment was done by Baba Shiv and what he was looking at is decision making and how we make decisions. With this experiment, the first thing he had groups of students do was memorize a number. He had two groups. Group one had to memorize a two-digit number, say for example 47 or 53 or 21. Group two had a little bit more difficult job. Group two had to memorize a seven-digit number like 4725968. That's a much more challenging number to memorize. So both groups, they they read their number, they memorize their number, and then they're told to walk down the hall where they'll have to write that number down. While they're walking down the hall, someone jumps out, and well, while they're walking down the hall, they're remembering the number, and someone jumps out and says, hey, do you want a snack? You can have a fruit salad, or you can have chocolate cake. Your choice of snacks. Now, if we think about the snacks, what does chocolate cake represent? Chocolate takes cake definitely tastes great. We all love chocolate cake. In the short term, chocolate cake, right now if I'm thinking about it, chocolate cake is a good choice. If I think about chocolate cake in the long term, it's probably not a good choice for me. It's unhealthy. I could start to gain weight. I, if I eat chocolate cake now, probably in about an hour, I'm going to have what's called a sugar crash where it's going to make me really tired. In the short term, chocolate cake is a good idea, but in the long term, it's not what's good for me. If I really wanted to think about my long-term health, I should choose something else. On the other hand, the fruit salad, it tastes okay. It definitely does not taste as good as the chocolate cake. As a short-term choice, I would prefer the chocolate cake. But if I think about the long-term effects of this decision, Wow, if I choose that fruit salad, I'm going to be healthier, I'm going to have more energy, good things are going to happen to me. So let's go back to our two groups of students. Group one, remember they're remembering a two-digit number, like 47. Group two is remembering a seven-digit number, 8467293. They're walking down the hall, we're trying to remember these numbers, someone jumps out and says, hey! I have, a, I have a snack for you. You can have chocolate cake or you can choose fruit salad. 40% of group one chose chocolate cake. 80% of group two, oh, 80% uh, 80 of group two chose chocolate cake. You can see that double, double the number of students chose chocolate cake. The question is, why? What happens is, our brain is working very hard to remember those numbers, if I'm remembering seven numbers. And if my brain, the same part of my brain that is in charge of short-term memory, remembering these numbers, is the same part of the brain that is also in charge of my willpower 
and it's the same part of my brain that would be in charge of my you know, abstract thinking, where I'd be thinking about long-term problems. So by using the memory and the willpower, my willpower is going to be weaker. And if I'm not using very much of my short-term memory, by only remembering two numbers, I'm more likely to choose the long-term smart option, the fruit salad. I hope you enjoyed that video about the chocolate cake or fruit salad experiment. Thank you.